here. Actually, this one here. Nope. Let's cut around. Meet Paul George, the amazing artisan, craftsman, carver, woodworking extraordinaire behind the wilderness piano. Let's go meet him. Hey, Paul. Oh, hey. How are you doing, Good. How are you? Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. A little sawdusty handshake there. Yeah. This shop is awesome. Thank you. Well, let's uh, let's see what uh, um, the the source of this amazing wilderness piano was. All right. Oh. It, it was um, something that hadn't been done. Um, I've been to a lot of nice cabins, nice lodges, and they, none of them had a piano that was designed for that atmosphere. Right. And so I felt like it was time. And uh, I, I love craftsman style, and I love the uh, mountain designer rustic, and so I just blended the two together and and uh, and built this piano to to reflect that. So these are a couple of uh, pieces that I'm working on. They can be done like this or spread them out a little bit more like that. I, I figured out a while ago how to, how to do some 3D and- Yeah, I was noticing the 3D here on the, like the leaves, some of them, or here. Some of the leaves are kind of twisted. Up. Yeah, twisted, yeah. yeah. Um, what's interesting about you know, getting the the gesture into the into the leaves is when you look at a, a leaf when it's still green, mm -hmm. it's still really pretty flat. So the best way to get a gesture into it is you let the leaf dry, because it'll twist and curl, and and it actually looks more alive than when it's alive and full of uh, interesting, full of green. That's all of that kind of stuff. It, it just gives it character and and uh, life. So this started out as one piece of wood. No, I added, I added this part here. I started with you know some pretty thick material, and then I add onto it so it's layered. It's uh, all just stacks of wood, just glued, yeah, glued to each other. Yeah. So yeah, I was wondering like how, how does that connect? Do you have a dowel going in there or something? No, it's, it's just all glue. glue. Mm -hmm. Was told that um, that it had been owned by Carol Lombard, and um, you know if, if you're old enough to remember who she is, she was married to Clark Gable, and she was the highest-paid actress uh, in her time, and uh, she had been uh, selling war bonds and was on her way home, and uh, the the plane that she was in crashed and killed everyone on board, and uh, but this piano came to me. Um, it had been painted like six different times and then I ended up with it and stripped all of that off and, uh, and I gave it a, a new look. Probably the, uh, one of the most important tools is the bandsaw. Um, I, I cut the, the pieces actually to conform to an existing uh, piano case. Right, right. Instead of uh, I mean, you tore it down completely. Oh yeah, it was it was in it was down to no legs, no just the soundboard and the plate yeah. together, yeah. and that was it. Yeah, and then you built around that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the curved parts, this was a this was a big part of it, and then and it was it's solid wood that that I added to it. And so after putting all of that together. I know I've moved it. Yes. I know it's solid. Oh, it's heavy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is yeah. heavy. Um, but the spoke shaves, 
Um, oh. those, are, those are another part of it. Okay. Um, that gives it the texture and uh, it, it's, it's just one of those textures that, I don't know, there's something about it, it it's just so organic. It's, yeah. a, it's a, a beautiful, beautiful thing and it works with the wood so nicely. Yeah, it does. So uh, I really like that. And then um, the, the, uh, there, there was inlay uh, mm -hmm. on it and uh, that I, I use uh, a high speed, um, very high speed uh, engraving tool and a lot of that is free-handed. Hey, Paul. Yeah. So, I would assume this is a carving tool? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. It's for rough carving. <laughs> that is some hardcore carving. Yes. There's quite a bit of work on that piano, some some uh, bronze work that you designed and cast. Is that correct? It is. Yeah. Okay. Can you can you show me kind of the process how you did that? Sure. But I've got these pieces here, and um, and you know where it's early, all of this was cast flat, and then uh, it was welded on here and manipulated, mm -hmm. and I. I found myself doing a lot of basically grinding on the back side to give it a little more life and take some of the mass out of it. And so from there, I decided, you know, it'd make, it'd make sense if I could cast them in a way that the back side is already carved and is already thin. So um, let me grab some, um, some of my templates or pattern boards um, and show you how that's done. Sure. Okay, so these are cast in green sand and I carved each of these pieces uh, flat so that each, each piece, when it's cast, it comes out as a full branch. And then I have some other boards with some other branches that I can weld on. But all of this, after it's cast in bronze, then I can bend and manipulate these branches so that they have a more life-looking uh, effect. Of course, the piano. I'm I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> yeah, but as you should be. <laughs> thank you. Uh, beyond that, I've I've done some mantles that I really enjoy doing. Um, I've got a desk that I did. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you one of the mantles that I did. This one was a lot of fun. It's a it's an incorporation of both antiques and um, and then oh. my work. So this piece here was actually a, an antique from Europe and, um, and it had a lot of this color on it already, but there were pieces that were missing and I, I had to rebuild those pieces and make it look like it was all from the same era. And then the carving, um, I just added these carvings in and, um, and then of course this is some of my cast bronze and corbels and um and and they loved the mantle um in fact they sold the house and had me come up and take the mantle out so they can put it in their new house <laughs> so uh then i've got a a desk that i did uh actually for the western design conference up in jackson hole and it's up in my office let's check it out okay The desk is um, about 15 different woods. So all the different colors that you see in here are the colors that, the, uh, that that particular species of wood brings. Well, um, 
I really enjoyed building the piano and, um, and I envision uh, building pianos for people, uh, you know, specific to their families or to their interests, um, corporations. Um, there are just uh, so many different things that, that can be done to, to personalize a piano. And, um, and it hasn't been done that, I, that I'm aware of. Certainly not for a, um, a designer rustic uh, environment. Uh, but it could be, you know, it could be whatever somebody wants. And I would sit with them and, and we would envision together uh, something that, that would work for them. Well, you do beautiful work. Thank you. Thank you.